Today we're making a classic cocktail that does not get the respect it deserves. It's a gin fizz. Look at this beautiful ombre from yellow to white. It tastes like, like silk chiffon pie made with gin. <laughs> Let's get started. This is a really light and refreshing cocktail, so we're only gonna use an ounce. Let's measure that out. One ounce of gin. Liberal ounce. Don't tell anybody. One ounce of simple syrup. You can claw this back a little bit if you think it's too sweet. One ounce of lemon juice. This is like a one, one, one ratio. Oh, and now that egg white. You can reserve the yolk for later if you wish. What we're gonna do now is a dry shake. That just means we're gonna shake it up with no ice. We wanna get this egg nice and moving and then we will add the other ingredients in. I eat ice. <laughs> Make sure you get a good seal. <laughs> I haven't used this shaker for a minute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I thought it'd be prettier for you. Okay. There we go, see? Shake, shake, shake. Getting exercised. You can see it's getting nice and frothy. Okay, now, when these were popular, I read that like, Decades ago, <laughs> and in the 1800s, uh, I read that the bars would have huge fleets of bartenders that's shaking, because it takes a lot of shaking to get this right. Let's add some ice in. All right, now let's do that real shake. We can cut and come back to this, or put it in fast forward. Okay. <laughs> like making meringue by hand. So using the egg whites is giving you like a really nice silky consistency and it's gonna be delicious. Let's take a look. Whoa. What is this, a white Russian? No. <laughs> totally out of breath. <laughs> it's a gin fizz. Let's take a sip. Oh my God. That is so good. So silky, so custardy. It's so good I forgot the last step. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take a look. Whoa. What is this, a white Russian? No. <laughs> okay, last step. <laughs> One ounce of soda water. Just mix that up there carefully. Okay, even fuzzier now. Oh my God, it's so good. It is so good. I really hope you get to try this. Use a fresh egg, follow the steps, pasteurize it if you're concerned, and find a gin that you like. There's so many great varieties like Nolette's, 209, Hendrix, they have like different characteristics. So do a little taste testing next time you go to the bar. Discover and enjoy. <laughs> Mm. If you like my videos, hit that like button and subscribe. Okay, now bye for real.